Uh, today I'm going to teach you how to make my lemon drop. Uh, everybody has their own way of making it. I have a certain way that I like to do it. And so today we're going to learn how to do that. First you start with your martini glass. Your tools, if you are making martinis, you should already have a tin, a strainer, and a top. So you can shake that thing really good and cold. Also, uh, with lemon drops, I use salt, uh, sugar, uh, sugar grims. And there's other drinks that you can make with different salt and sugar, and I think you should use this. You can get one of these. It calls water supply or really anywhere. They're really easy to get. So we're going to start taking our tin, fill it up to the top with ice. We're going to take a citrus vodka. Now everybody has a count. You do a two ounce of this or a half ounce of this. Me, I take both alcohol at the same time, and I just put it together for a three count. Pinning your three count could be as fast as you want to get to where you want to go with your cocktail or if you want a slow, easy pace. Okay, so with me, one, two, three. It's typically where I would want if I was having a martini. Mind you, martinis, make them the way you would want. Okay, hopefully your guests have the same taste as you are, but for the most part, it should be a little bit of, you know, hint of alcohol, but a tart, sweet drink tastes good like those old school candies. A uh, little bit of sweet and sour, um, you could use lemonade, you could just use simple syrup, which is just, you know, sugar, sugared water with uh, fresh squeezed lemons, you can do that, however you want to do it. We here at the standard just use some sweet and sour, give it a good three count, depending on how much sweet and sour you want, how filled, uh, far you want to take this to the top, but a three count usually is where you want to go. Now, I always add two fresh cuts of lemon for every lemon drop so you get a really good naturally citrus taste plus when it's strange you'll get a little bit of pulp at the bottom and it mixes with the alcohol really really well okay get a good shake on this okay i like to go and try to feel that tin in ice cold that should be ready i'm going to take our glass hit it with a little lime juice hit it with a sugar dram now i think this is good around a uh, good amount of sugar excuse me you can put it for as, uh, as much sugar as you want or as less, depending on how far you want to go down that lime juice and how much you want to shake it around your sugar. Pop the top off. Put your strainer on top. Pour all the way. Now I gave a pretty long pour. It's going to be kind of hard to walk around with this one, but more alcohol is more alcohol. Fresh squeeze of lemon for your garnish. And you have Luke's Lemon Drop here at the standard. Enjoy.